Hey, N4H and H here. I'm in the truck with the Yaesu FT891. I want to show you a little something about FM operation because, well, we are in cycle 25 now and the bands are waking up. And I've already this morning heard a couple of uh, uh, 10 meter repeaters, one on 29620 and another one on 29640. Now, uh, 29.600 is the simplex frequency and, uh, you know, you can use it as a call frequency. But you'll notice uh, 29,620, uh, focus there, 29,620, 40, 60, and 80 are very common uh, repeater frequencies. And the tone is usually 100 hertz, okay? And then you're going to do a, a negative shift. Now, what I want to show you is a little bit about the setup for uh, FM. And I'm going to long press the function button to get into what I call the deep menu or the big menu. And menu number 5-05, that is, dash 10, is um, where you can enable the FM function menu, okay? By default, it's going to be disabled, okay? So I would go in there and enable that. You'll notice I also have the REC setting as well enabled. So let's get out of this, and I'll show you what all that's about. You just tap now, and it'll it'll save. Now, if I tap the function button, see, there's the record setting menu. That would not be there if I had not enabled it. You know, and this allows you to, uh, you know, see this memory and then memory channel one, two, three, four. Those, it says channel. It's a little bit misleading. Uh, those are your pre-recorded messages. So I could speak into the microphone in 4 h and H or CQ. This is in 4 h and H, whatever, and record that. And I've got five different memories that I can recall to replay that message so I don't have to speak it all all over, you know, if I'm doing like, um, I don't get into contesting, but if I were, it would keep me from having to wear my voice out repeating it. So you won't see this menu unless you were to go in long press, sorry, long press to get out, long press to get back into the big menu if you didn't enable REC setting. Well, okay, and I want to, again, I'm enabling FM setting. Now, a quick tap gets you out of that. And a quick tap gets you into the function menu. And then um, if you just tap it, it'll cycle through. There's function menu one. That's where you can enable or disable intercept point optimization, which I do often use uh, mobile, especially on 20 meters or lower in frequency, 14 megahertz and below. Sometimes even on 17. 17 is a great mobile band, by the way, uh, 17 meters. 18 megahertz. All right, so I'm going to tap again, and there's function menu two, uh, DNF, digital notch filter, so, you know, to stop heterodynes. Uh, I, apparently, the last time I was in this menu, I had turned that off. And uh, there's DNR, digital noise reduction. But see, I have that assigned to the, uh, the C button here. I've shown how to do that in other videos, but while I'm here, I'll just tell you, if you put your arrow on it and long press, it'll assign it to the quick key here. All right, now I'll tap it again. And there's CW setting, and now I have added FM settings. And here's where you set your tone. So if they're dark, they're, they're active. All right, so I'm going to tap multi-knob. That turns that off. Tap it again, and it turns it on, and it's set for CTCSS encode. So in other words, transmit tone. Continuous tone coded squelch system is what that is. Now tap it, and that'll go away off the screen. Now, there we go. Move the move the arrow over and uh, tap tone. That turns it off. Tap it again. It turns it back on. And then you can just use your multi-knob to choose the tone frequency. Most popular for FM repeaters is 100 hertz. Tap again, and you're out of that, and you can move your cursor. DCS, that's if you're using a digital code. And then RPT is uh, the repeat button, and that's very important if you want to operate through a repeater. So, again, I can tap, see it's set for minus. And um, if you, you can cycle through those, there's plus, there's simplex, S-I-M-P. So when I set up, um, let me get out of here and I'll show you. Long press to get out of the menu, out of the function menu. When I programmed the 29.600, I went into the RPT and I set it for simplex, which is, you know, no, no offset. And let me... Long press out of here, but let's go to the next one. See, 29620, that is a repeater frequency. So let's go in there and take a look at it. See, it's bold, and it's set for a minus offset. 
and uh, long press to get get out of that. And uh, so I know it seems confusing. So this one button has a lot of different functions according to what do you do. Okay, so you tap it, you get a function menu, and then you just tap again to cycle through them. You long press to get out, save your changes and exit. Okay, now if you long press it while you're out here at the just looking at the the display of frequency and you know the normal display, long press takes you into the deep menu. And again, 5-10 is where I turned on the FM setting. Now, from this menu, you can just tap to exit. So one button, multiple different options according to whether you're long pressing and, or tapping and according to where you happen to be at the moment. All right. So and then again, I've got 29620, 29640, 29660, and 29680 programmed in with a minus offset, a 100 hertz tone, so I can operate those FM repeaters. And 29.600, again, is the simplex, uh, you know, generally a calling frequency for 10 meter FM. 10 meter FM is fun, and if if you are a... Uh, uh, a technician class, I encourage you to go ahead and upgrade to general so you can take advantage of this. Uh, technician class can operate between 28.3 and 28.5 megahertz with up to 200 watts of power. Um, but you, you're currently limited. Um, you cannot operate in the FM portion of 10 meters because it's, well, 29.6. A long ways above uh, 28.3 to 28.5. But I encourage you to get your general and uh, you'll have a lot of fun with FM repeater operation. I was hoping these guys would come back in and talk, but I mean, oh, there's that repeater. Hey, we are in the early stages of cycle 25, so this is only going to get better. Okay, well, I, I hope you found that uh, video helpful informative, and informative. Um, easy for me to say, right? I tell you what, if you've watched this far, I'm going to give you a bonus check this out. So I'm going to go down to a sideband frequency. This ring, outer ring of volume, notice that sideband, it's your RF gain. And I, I've mentioned this in other videos. I consider it like an RF squelch. So if I roll it counterclockwise and put my S meter on S7, it masks the background noise. It's also telling the receiver, hey, you know what? I don't really want to hear too much from anything below an S7. Hint, hint, noise. Okay, because if somebody signals an S5 and you put it on S7, you'll probably still hear them. You may have to turn the volume up a little bit, but you'll hear them. All right, so um, see how it's masking the background noise? So if you're having a QSO with somebody who's 20 over, you don't need this in between syllables, okay? But watch this. Um, I'm going to uh, go up to the... FM and notice we get no background noise because that knob just became a squelch automatically it knows hey FM you're going to need a squelch and um, now it'll sh if you turn that ring to set the squelch it's going to stay here and show you the squelch setting press your multi knob to make that go away all right there's a bonus for those of you who watch the video here all the way to the end um Again, thank you so much for watching, and I want to shout out to the Patreon support team who bring these videos to you, who help me to financially be able to do this. I would not be able to do this completely on my own. Um, it's cost prohibitive. So I have a Patreon support team behind me who, who make uh, small monthly donations, $5, 10 or $20, to help keep these videos uh, coming to you. If you would like to join that team, again, there are three levels of participation. Uh, the middle and upper level, called executive or VIP, uh, you have some perks available to you, some downloads and additional information uh, that I provide as a gift for helping me support the channel. Okay, don't think that joining as an executive or VIP, you just do that for the perks. Um, no, you'll be disappointed, I, I think. But, but I do provide some gifts for those levels that I do not publish anywhere else. And, uh, you know, hint, hint, one of them is uh, a complete setup uh, document showing how all the menu settings I make in this rig uh, from tr not just transmit audio, everything that I touch in this radio to uh, optimize it. Also a discussion of all these buttons, controls, uh, the knobs and things like that. That's available. Uh, I have 
four, uh, three more of those for three other radios. And there's documents uh, related to FT8 operation. Um, and uh, there's a glossary for those who may be new. And it's pretty much, it's in depth, okay? A glossary of amateur radio terminology, the Q signals, and again, a generic discussion of not just a particular radio, but the various knobs and buttons on any radio available today. So those are available for the executives and the VIPs as a thank you gift from me for helping me keep this channel up and running. If you'd like to join that Patreon team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. That's patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And um, if you would, please click that like button. That thumbs up costs you nothing, helps the channel tremendously. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new video, which is generally one or two a week. And hey, consider sharing the video with a friend, um, you know, on uh, social media, text message, email. Um, that helps as well and may help your friend. All right. Hey, again, thanks for watching and 73 from N4 H&H. &H.